All right. So one of our favorite parts of the show we get into is trending topics. So this is a rapid fire game that we like to play where our guest Kazai, as well as Amobi, will answer some uh, news headlines using the soccer card system. So if you're not familiar with it, um, no card is I disagree or I'm not cool with it. Uh, yellow card is I'm indifferent. I can go either way. And red card is I obviously disagree. Um, and then our guests and Amobi will give a short explanation of why they gave that card. So we got three this week. Um, so we'll jump right into it. First up, Christian Pulisic says he's disappointed with the lack of support at U.S. Men's National Team's match against Morocco. So what card are we giving him for calling out the fans for a friendly? Want to do the honors, Kazai? I say um, a yellow, yellow card. Okay. Um, so for me, I'm going. Yeah, I'll go yellow card too. I think uh, I think he's misinformed on why, you know, it is a, a weekday, um, and tickets are expensive, and we're about to hit a recession. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think he had all the facts with him before he made that statement. But obviously. You know, coming back stateside and heading into a World Cup year, it would be great to see uh, fans, but there's other obligations that, you know, take over uh, the mind right now. Yeah, for sure. All right, next up. Um, LeBron James, a.k.a. Billionaire Bron, has reportedly reached a billion, according to Forbes. So what card are we giving this achievement? Because, you know, and before I preface that, like some people believe billionaires shouldn't exist you know, some people feel a certain way about billionaires. Some people don't. Um, so what card are we giving this achievement by Braun as an, as an active athlete? Um, um, was it no card for you agree? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I say, I say no card, no card. Cause, um, just, just where he's come from in life, uh, um, something like that. I just think it's really, really, really good to see as, especially as, um, a, a black athlete as well. Just um, I feel like um, a different athlete because well, that's something to aspire to. Yeah, no card for me. Uh, from a kid from the kid from Akron to billionaire Braun, like he's the blueprint for a lot of athletes. And uh, obviously, not everyone's going to reach that status, but there's a lot of principles that you can take from what he's been able to do, and uh, go from there. Yeah, for sure. All right, and last one. Redbird Capital, um, which is an American uh, private equity firm, has just recently bought AC Milan. Um, they've they got their hands in a bunch of other teams. Um, uh, I'm not I can't think of all of them off the top of my head right now, but if you look them up, they got their hands in some other you know European teams as well. Um, so, what card are we giving this buy by um, Redbird Capital? I'll say a yellow card because um um it depend it depends how them they in, intend to like invest into the into the to the club um if they if they got um football investments in mind then I feel like it's a good investment but if they if it's just basically as a, a way to make money then then it's, I can see it going really badly. Yeah, this being yeah, scarred so by Stan Kroenke. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, your pain, bro. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, good timing. AC Milan just won the uh, uh, Serie A. So um, in terms of like timing and infrastructure, I think it, it's good. But like like you said, um, if they don't do it right, there's been good owners and there's been bad owners. So hopefully they follow the. Liverpool model when it comes to American ownership coming into play, um, so I give it I give it a yellow card, and that's only because we haven't seen um, what they have done yet. Uh, for sure. So that's it for this week's trending topics. Because I appreciate you coming on and kicking it with us. Appreciate you sharing your unfiltered opinions on these things as well. Um, Till next week, y'all. Peace out. Peace.